Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to uh, a couple Rare Americans music videos. This is a donation reward for Venom0027. Um, we have two videos today. We have one called Ryan and Dave and one called Berlin. I don't know what Rare Americans is. I guess they're a band. I don't... I've never heard of them, to my knowledge. Um, so I, I don't know what we're getting into here. But when I, I when I went to get the videos up, it looked like both of the videos might be animated, so that should be interesting. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to expect with these. Um, the song titles don't give enough away to really say like what to expect. Like Berlin, obviously, uh, capital of Germany and everything. Um, is the song going to be about like the Berlin Wall or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> For all I know, it could have absolutely nothing to do with anything like that. Um, and then the other one is just a couple names. Tells me nothing. <laughs> could be about anything. So I, I don't know what I'm getting into with this. Uh, like I said, I don't know the band or whatever. So we're just going to go into this. As always, this is redirected, of course, because even though it's YouTube videos, just to be safe on copyright. Um, pretty much nothing will ever be on the channel itself. It'll all be redirected just to be safe. Just because I've had issues with that in the past. But yeah. Um, we'll see how this goes. We will see how this goes. And hopefully, uh, I enjoy them. So, yeah. Let us get this going. So, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the music videos, I guess. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So... I, I, I'll get to it in a mi minute, but I wasn't entirely wrong on the meaning of the second one. Um, but let's talk about this first one, Ryan and Dave. So this one told the story of two cousins, I believe it said. Uh, Ryan, when they were young teenagers, didn't have like a filter. He was a wild child and all, while Dave was more reserved. Dave grew up to be just a normal kind of guy, a, a, an upstanding member of society, basically, while Ryan grew up to be a drug addict and uh, kind of a, a screw-up. Um, Ryan is kind of at the end of his rope. He calls Dave up for some money, for some help, and Dave tells him, I'll give you money, but only for detox, only if you get help. I'm not going to pay to get you any more drugs. And Ryan agrees to it. He agrees to it. He, he stays with Dave for a bit, and then Dave brings him to the detox center to get him help, and he, he goes through with it. It's... It's a simple story, but like I said in the reaction, it kind of has a very wholesome ending. It's it's very hopeful, very nice, um, and and you see like how being there for someone throughout life can help them if they reach that point when they are at their lowest. You need to be there for them and be able to bring them out of that. And if you are the person at your lowest, you need to listen to those closest to you when they're looking out for you. 
and it, it does perpetuate maybe a couple stereotypes a little bit like the wild child automatically becomes a druggie while the reserved one becomes like an upstanding member of society it's like that's not always the case there's very many cases where it's the opposite way around um but this the, i mean it can happen so it's not like it's entirely unrealistic it's just it it does kind of almost seem like it's kind of pushing forward that stereotype a little just just a tiny bit it's it's a nitpick if anything um but it was actually like i said really wholesome and had a good message to it and it was entertaining as well it wasn't like my neither of these i would say is like my favorite song but yeah and then we have uh berlin and i actually wanted to look up the specifics behind this because I wanted to see how correct I was on my interpretation. My interpretation is, it looked like there was this young couple and the uh, guy uh, was forced into the military and he chose to kind of keep away from his girlfriend after that to keep her safe. And it seems like I wasn't entirely off the mark. Uh, it, it, it's more complicated than that. See, when I first, like, had seen the title and everything, I thought, like, okay, is this going to be about the Berlin Wall, about Germany and stuff in that time period? And it is. Um, the band, uh, according to this, says that Berlin tells the story of a forbidden love in post-World War II Germany. Berlin actually started with the name of the female character, and from there we thought we could go deeper into this time period and bring a bit of history into it. To get specific, the main character, Alfred, works for the East German secret police, and the relationship with his love, Anna Berlin, was forbidden. They tried to escape to Budapest, but Alfred is caught and punished. So we, we get the entire picture of the story and everything makes sense once you understand exactly what's going on here. Um, so Alfred, our, our, our male character here, like, like it says, he works for the East German secret police, which, yeah, very bad. <laughs> um, but he values his love with his girlfriend, Anna Berlin, more, and even wanted to escape with her, to leave all of that behind, because he believed in their relationship more than he believed in that cause. But because of how, you know, the East German secret police were, they found out about it they were the ones who were following them and watching them and because it was a forbidden love um which very much implies that even though it doesn't say specifically here it implies that anna berlin was probably west german uh while he's east german so yeah that would that would explain it and so he tries to even though they try to escape it doesn't work he gets the shit beat out of him and is forced basically back into service while he has to leave her behind and then it goes and then we see like at the beginning and the end it's years later he's trying to find her again he's trying to contact her but he's afraid to because of what he had done and what he was forced into continuing to do he feels it's been too long and that she probably has moved on and we find out at the end that she is doing the same thing, that she's trying to find him, that she wants to reconnect with him, that she's never forgotten him, that she's never fallen out of love with him. And it's, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking, but it also discusses the horrors of this time period. It's absolutely terrible. And it's, it's insane. I, 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 I really got a kick out of the messages these two uh, videos were trying to tell. They, they definitely, like, they're not just cool animated music videos with animal characters, anthropomorphic animal characters. Um, no, there's actually a message to these videos, to each of these songs. 
again, the first one, um, Ryan and Dave, it's about getting better, coming from a place of addiction and working to better yourself with the help of someone who loves you and it wants to help you. And from the other angle, helping out someone you love to get better. While this one was about two people who just wanted to be together, but were forced apart by an oppressive regime. And now are struggling to reconnect years and years and years later. And it's... It's insane how deep music videos can get. And a lot of people, there's a lot of people out there who will like hand wave these off saying, oh, they're just these ridiculous animated music videos. They're not meant to be taken seriously. Or I've never heard of this band. Like, I haven't. But I, I, I come out of this, I, I've seen these music videos now, at least these two, and it's like, there's powerful stuff here. Like, you don't see it all the time where a band or an artist goes out of their way to make their music videos have this deep of a meaning and possibly consistently like it may not just be these two videos it might just be their con their content in general like you'll occasionally see art some artists do that and there are certain artists who do that a little more than others such as uh rise against and whatnot um but like a lot of artists you'll see like there's some artists who will just make their music videos sexy or make it cool or make it uh fun and it's like they 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 take like these basic um feelings and epitomize them with the video and there's nothing inherently wrong with that but it's also great to see a music video that gets you thinking and gets you to just empathize and sympathize with people and their plights a music video that tells a message and gets you to understand that message and, and even though i had to look up to see the exact specifics of the second video i i still got a lot of the gist of it i just didn't have the specifics down so it it's really really wild to see stuff like this and to see it done well like these aren't like the best animated music videos i've seen music videos uh for animation that have been done better but again it's not about necessarily super high quality animation or whatnot it's about the message more than anything and they utilize this animation and these animal characters to do so and, and you you get to see like even how they connect and it's I guess it's kind of like a, from what I understand, since I haven't seen the series, but kind of like a Bojack Horseman type of world, where humans and animals just, or anthropomorphic animals just live together and are in relationships and stuff. Because you see Dave's wife and she's a normal human and everything, uh, and they have kids and all. Um, so it's it, it seems like it's that kind of world, and it, it kind of like maybe implies that all of these also take place within the same universe or same world with, as each other or at least these two videos i don't know if all the other videos are the same but um yeah they kind of have that feeling it's the same kind of animation i i, I do wonder if all of their music videos are like this um but yeah this was these were good these were genuinely good um, it was a short reaction, I know. There are only these two videos here. Um, to my knowledge, these are the only two uh, that were requested here from Venom uh, for this band. Um, I know Venom requested some other stuff lately that I have to entirely list down um, still. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed these. And there's a lot more to go with uh different youtube reactions as well there's some other youtube reactions coming up um for donation rewards so just as everyone uh knows that like i said this is a donation reward for venom 0027 and yeah you guys can suggest stuff from youtube uh, a youtube video youtube series uh 
anything like that. As long as I haven't seen it, just check with me first. It's all good. Um, and yeah, um, once again, for the entire month of June 2022, we are doing a two-for-one special. Each donation gets you two rewards. Uh, you could take full advantage of that if you can and wish to. It is perfectly optional. Uh, you'll never have to uh, pay to see any of the content on the channel. Nothing will be behind a paywall. This is just a way for you to get me to react to something you specifically want me to. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, I for one am excited to see more stuff that's been requested uh, during this month and for more stuff that will probably be requested as we continue along, uh, whether this month or in the future. So remember, uh, it doesn't have to be movies or shows. It can be, but it can also be YouTube stuff. So if you ever want to donate in the future and are able to, feel free to choose something from YouTube as well. Again, just check with me in the comments or whatever uh, to see if I have uh, seen it or not for obvious reasons. Um, but otherwise, tell me in the comments below what you thought of these two music videos, uh, of their deep messages, their animation, and yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See you all next time.